Today I'd like to show you how to create a macro that contains an image and then bundle that macro together and deploy it as a plugin or a template into DaVinci Resolve. The example I'd like to use is to create a macro or a fusion composition that displays the logo and name of our nonprofit, the Socratica Foundation. So let me bring in the logo. And so this is the image that we're going to want to bundle up with our macro. Next, let's create some text and we will display the name Socratica Foundation. Then we are going to combine the text and the image together. Now, if you mouse over, let me rename these actually before we talk about mousing over stuff. This one will be the logo. The text one node is the name. And then we have a, instead of merge one, let's just call it merge. If you mouse over the logo node, you'll get a pop-up and it will show that it's a 256 by 256 pixel image. If you mouse over the name, you'll see that this generates a 1920 by 1080 bit of media image. So when we merge them, the combined merge is 256 by 256. That's because with a merge, it uses whatever you pipe into the background as the size of the combined thing. So I'm just going to switch or flip the inputs and outputs. So I'm going to swap the inputs. And now the name is in the foreground. Actually, the name is in the background and the logo is in the foreground. And so it's now HD. With the merge, what we can do is we can reposition the logo. In fact, let's have just one display here so it's easier to see. And I will zoom in a bit. So for the name, what we're also going to do is left align everything. And we're not going to use bold. We're going to use just regular. And then we're going to come back to the logo. Or sorry, we're going to come back to merge and reposition the logo. There we go. And then lastly, with the name, we're going to shrink the line spacing between it. There we go. That's a nice, simple branded macro that you could that anyone might want to make and use over and over again in their productions. The trick here is we have an image. And so when we bundle this as a macro and we share that macro with other people, we want to make sure that the image is included in that. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to create a setting file from these three nodes. We're not going to include the output node. So we have logo, name, and merge. Select them all, right click, come up to macro and create macro. Let's collapse that so you can see that here are the three nodes, logo, name, and merge. And the tools that we want for this is just, we actually don't need any controls, but we do need to make sure the output of the final node here is checked because you do want to have your macro have an output. So it will then, when you drag and drop it into the timeline, it will display nicely. There we go. And we're going to call this foundation logo close. Do we want to save? Yes. I'm going to save it in my demo fusion folder and I'm going to leave the name as is. The file name is foundationlogo.setting and save. Now let's open the setting file so we can see what we need to do so that when we deploy it, the image is included. Okay. Here is the foundation logo setting file. And if you're not familiar with what setting files look like, you might want to look at some of our other videos that introduce that. So today we're more focused on learning how to make sure the image is included in this. So we have a list of our tools and the tools that we have is we have the logo. I'm going to collapse that. We have the text plus node, which is the name. And then we have the merge. The one node that has the image in it is the logo. So let's expand that. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a media path. So you can see for the logo or the media in node, we have a media path property. And right now it's the path on my computer to that image. And that's not what you want. You want a relative path relative to the setting file. And so let's see how to do that. And there's one file I'd like to show you that contains the information on a lot of these details, such as where to put your bundled assets and things like that. So we're going to come back to DaVinci Resolve, come up to help documentation developer. And if you go into the fusion templates folder, there should be a readme.txt file. And if you open this up, this contains a lot of useful information for creating uh, macros 
with, with thumbnails, with bundled assets, and how to then zip them together and share them with other people. We're gonna scroll down, there's, and you wanna just kinda, when we're scrolling down, keep an eye for these little subtitles that have these uh, dots, these dashes underneath. Building a transition, fusion generators, titles, bundled assets, that's what we're after. Now, it's totally worth reading, but they point out that, yeah, you can use any of these image assets, these file types, and to reference it, instead of displaying the full path, they said you want to include something like this, setting colon, and then the relative path to the image. Or like, for example, it could be setting colon leaf.jpg. But the key thing here is it must be in the same folder as the setting file. So let's come back to the folder where the setting file lives. Okay, I put the foundation logo.setting file in the demo fusion folder on my system. The, the image is currently not here. So what we wanna do is we want to copy the logo for the Socratic foundation and put it in the same folder. And then we're gonna update the setting file to reference that. Here's the folder with our logo on it. Let me copy this and paste it over here. And so the name of the logo was foundation underscore logo underscore 256.png. So now what we need to do is to update the dot setting file. Okay, so instead of the absolute path to it on my computer, what we need to do now is add the setting colon and then the path to it. So we have setting colon and the name of the image is foundation underscore logo underscore 256.png. There we go. So we now have a relative path to where the image will be. Okay, now let's deploy this and see if it works. And to deploy it, what we wanna do is we wanna take the setting file and the image and put it on the right folder, put it inside the right folder inside our DaVinci Resolve uh, project setup. That way it will appear when you're in the cut and edit pages, it will appear as a title or, or generator or what have you that you can then use. So let's do that next. Once again, we're going to come up to help, documentation developer. We're going to go into Fusion Templates and open the README. Now, when you scroll down, keeping an eye once again on these uh, headings, you should see one that lets you know where to put things on your system. Template icons, template paths. So the template paths is the same if you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux. Where do you want to put your setting files so that it will appear in your effects menu? And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to be using this path here. Let me copy and paste the path, change my username to Socratica. And there we go. So here, there are four folders you can put things into, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. When you come to resolve, let's say you come over to the edit page and you have the effects open, those four folders correspond to these sections here, video transitions, titles, generators, and effects. So let's make this a title. When you go in, there's no subfolders. Here's a good chance for us to make a folder. Let's make a new folder called foundation and let's come up here to the effects panel and expand it. And you'll see I have some existing plugins that I've either licensed or created, but there's no folder called foundation yet. The reason is this folder is empty. If you go into the foundation folder, there's nothing there. Once we put a setting file into this folder, then it will appear up here. So let me move this off to the left a little bit and bring up the Windows uh, Explorer that has the setting file and the image in it. Here we go. So I'm just going to copy the foundation logo.setting file and paste it. And when I paste it, keep an eye up here to see that the foundation folder will appear underneath titles. Paste. And there it is. A little bit of a pause. And if you click on foundation, you'll see the foundation logo is here. Next, we need to include the image. So I'm going to copy the foundation logo underscore 256 PNG and paste it. There we go. Let's now see if this works. So I'm going to delete the fusion composition that we used to create this. Okay, it's all gone. 
And now I'm going to take the foundation logo and drag it in. And there it is, it works. You might have noticed that previously it was working, but here this was referencing the composition that we made and that had the logo with the absolute path to my computer on it. And so that's why it looked like it was working. It really wasn't. That's because the playhead was over the composition that we used to create this macro and it still had the absolute path. But when we deleted this and now we drag this in, what we're essentially doing is telling Resolve, please take the setting file and copy it into the timeline. And when it did that, it used the relative path to the logo and displayed it. Now, the last thing you might want to do is include a little thumbnail here. And the way you can do that is let's just come up here and take a little bit of a snippet of what this looks like. And then I'm going to save that image in the same folder as the setting file. Okay, here we go. Here's the little snippet I just took of my screen. I'm going to save this into there. And the key thing is for a thumbnail to appear in Resolve, the name of this image needs to match the name of the setting file. Different extensions, it'll be foundation space logo dot PNG, not dot setting, but the foundation space logo has to be the same case sensitive for it to appear in Resolve. So let me save this real quick. And I'm going to call this foundation space logo. Okay, there's the image. It doesn't appear up here yet because what we now need to do is put this in the same Resolve folder where it will look for plugins and macros to display. So let me minimize this and bring up the Explorer where we drag and dropped or copy and pasted all these files into the Resolve folder. So this is underneath the Resolve app settings. We have Fusion Templates, Edit Titles Foundation. So now I'm going to copy the foundation logo. And once I paste it, you should notice that the thumbnail will now update and display there. So let me paste and keep your eye up here once I paste now. Okay, what it did was it kicked us up. It detected that there was a change, so it moved the focus up a folder. But if we click on foundation, you can now see that we have a logo. So this is how you can create a macro, customize the thumbnail, but more importantly, bundle assets with it, images and, and what have you, so that when you share it with other people, they'll have that as well. One final thing I would recommend though, to make it easier to share with people, is I would bundle all of this up into a DRFX folder. And then you can just share one file or one zip file with everyone. And then all they have to do is install that one file and they'll have your thumbnails, your assets, your setting files, and all they have to do is install it once. And they'll have all the same uh, templates and macros that you've created. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the future.